Hello, and welcome to the Project Ways Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. This lesson is titled Gather Requirements. You will learn how to gather requirements for an advanced workflow from a project team. In this lesson, you will learn how to gather workflow requirements from a stakeholder and visualize the workflow in a process diagram. When it comes to gathering requirements, there are several well-known techniques. For advanced workflows, the most common techniques include focus groups, prototyping, or requirement workshops. The technique you choose depends on several factors, including the stakeholder's communication style, the simplicity or complexity of a process, and the relationship between you and the stakeholders. For this project, a requirements workshop was conducted and a few ideas surfaced. First, the state DOT has new requirements. Lizzie McDougall, project manager for the highway project, informed us that the state DOT she is working for has a new mandate to track the design review process on existing and new projects. The project team is already familiar with the existing project features in the current My Company ProjectWise data source, including the My Company document environment and the design workflow. The BIM manager and ProjectWise administrator asked the project team during the requirements workshop what they liked about the current setup, what they wished it could do, and what they wondered it could do given the new state DOT requirements. By the end of the requirements workshop, the BIM manager had a list of five requirements from the project team. Each step needs approve and revise reject actions. The process needs to support peer review, cross-discipline review, and constructability review. The team needs to be able to create a new version for each new major or minor revision, as well as mark obsolete models, and the review process must track approvals and revision notes. After gathering the requirements, you would work with the stakeholder to create a rough process diagram. This can be done during the requirements gathering workshop. I usually start by drawing up a concept with the stakeholder on a physical or virtual whiteboard. You can then use PowerPoint, Visio, or other application to create a more formal diagram with swim lanes. For more information on how to create a business process diagram, see guided pathways on popular learning platforms such as LinkedIn and Degreed.com. After talking to the project team, the BIM manager created a formal business process diagram to document the proposed workflow. The next step is to model the workflow with the advanced project-wise workflow using the workflow rules engine. You will learn how to do this in subsequent lessons. Congratulations! You now know how to gather basic requirements from a project team, as well as how to visualize a design review process. We are now ready to prepare the project-wise data source for the advanced workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.